Hi guys, welcome to the new section, Extending Metasploit and Exploit Development. In this section we will start with exploit development concepts, then move on to exploit templates and mixins, and finally see adding external exploits to Metasploit. Now we move on to the first video of this section, Exploit Development Concepts. In this video we are going to take a look at buffer overflow, then understand fuzzers. Exploits can be of many different types. They can be classified based on various parameters such as platforms, architecture, and purpose served. Whenever any given vulnerability is discovered, there are either of three possibilities. An exploit code already exists. Partial exploit code exists that needs some modification to execute malicious payload. No exploit code exists and there's a need to develop new exploit code from scratch. The first two cases look quite easy, as the exploit code exists and may need some minor tweaks to get it executed. However, the third case, wherein a vulnerability has just been discovered and no exploit code exists, is the real challenge. In any case, you might need to perform some of these tasks. Gather basic information, such as the platform and architecture the vulnerability is supported on. Get all possible details about how the vulnerability can be exploited and what the possible attack vectors are. Use techniques such as fuzzing to specifically pinpoint the vulnerable code and parameters. Define a pseudo code or prototype to test whether the exploit is working for real. Write the complete code with all required parameters and values. Publish the code for the community and convert it into a Metasploit module. Now let's see a buffer overflow. Buffer overflow is one of the most commonly found vulnerabilities in various applications and system components. A successful buffer overflow exploit may allow remote arbitrary code execution, leading privileges. A buffer overflow condition occurs when a program tries to insert more data in a buffer that it can accommodate, or when a program attempts to insert into a memory area past a buffer. In this case, a buffer is nothing but a sequential section of memory allocated to hold anything from a character string to an array of integers. Let's consider this code. This code is vulnerable to buffer overflow. If you carefully notice, the buffer size is set to 25 characters. However, what if the user enters data more than 25 characters? The buffer will simply overflow and the program execution will end abruptly. So let's see what fuzzers are. Fuzzers are small programs that send random inputs of various lengths to specified parameters within the target application and inform us the exact length of the input that caused the overflow and crash of the application. Let's check the code online. Go to this site, copy your program here, and run it. Now type as many characters as you can. It should be more than 25. It will be aborted automatically. This is because we've entered more than 25 characters. 